Okay, we're live now. Hi, Namaste, everyone. We just one minute and we'll get started. All right, we're live now. All right. Namaste everyone, welcome to Hindi University. Really excited to have all of you this Sunday. Um, as you know, my name is Ashutosh and uh, we meet every Sunday 8 a.m. US Pacific time, which is time on the west coast of the US to learn about the Hindi language. Um, for those of you who are completely new to Hindi University, uh, you can learn more about us by going to our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash Hindi University. Or you can also go to our website, hindiuniversity.org to learn about it. Um, you know, if you're interested in joining the live classes, you can get all the details on this website that we have, um, you know, which provides you details about how to join the, the Zoom sessions that we have. Uh, similarly, we have the HU calendar, like a schedule that will, tells you, that will tell you about all the, the practice sessions we have throughout the week um, at different levels. So, you know, based on your level, you are uh, you're really more than, more than welcome to, to join any of the practice sessions, okay? Um, so there's a little bit of information about the Zoom link and also if you want to enroll into the WhatsApp group that we have, uh, this link will get you in, in the WhatsApp group as well. Okay. Um, as you know, this year we've been following two main books, uh, Pingu Learns Hindi, as well as the Elementary Hindi by Professor Richard DeLacy and Sudha Joshi. Uh, Richard DeLacy is also a Hindi professor at the Harvard University. Okay. So we're systematically going over all these books. Uh, you can find more details about these books when you go to the, you know, the hindiuniversity.org link, okay. Uh, there are some audio files are also there, you know, as you scroll through the website that will kind of help you with the, uh, you know, the, the, the listening part, okay. Um, as you know, in the previous class, we started the topic uh, from chapter 18 of uh, elementary Hindi book, uh, Richard Glacy and Sudha Joshi's book. Um, I told you like this topic will take about two, uh, you know, two lectures to complete and Ko is a very important post position for Hindi. Um, after Ne, it's considered the second most difficult uh, post position. Um, that's why it's very important for, for everyone to understand the different use cases of, of Ko. Uh, one of the reasons it's, it's, it, you can consider it hard is also because it's, it's, it's hard to do the one on one mapping for for co okay um, when you talk about pronouns it's like you know there's a variety right so when you say i in english in hindi you have me okay uh, but typically there is a less notion of to me something to me okay uh, you know when the action is part, like coming towards you in hindi whenever there is something like that you end up using post position co so imagine you have me and after that you're using ko and then it becomes mujhe or mujko okay um so by the end of this lecture we'll try to finish all the use cases okay um uh, so just to kind of quickly recap we started it previous week and we spoke that these are post positions are nothing but what you have heard of in preposition in english okay they are followed by the nouns that's why they are called post positions okay so let's say you have subject John and followed by Ko, it becomes John Ko. Okay. A subject KD and after Ko, it's KD Ko. Okay. Uh, multiple use cases where the subject has, you know, knowledge of something, they have, they learn something, they like something, they dislike something, you know, and many more cases that we, you know. So these are the ones we covered in the previous class where, you know, where you can use Ko. Where John he likes something, John ko ice cream pasand hai. Mark got a job. Okay, subject has got something, subject has got gift or you know a job, you know. Um, there also you will use ko. So mark ko job mili. Okay, this one we will cover today. Carl knows Hindi. Okay, this one we in the we did previous class. Cleo knows, like and we did. Subject is aware of some information where you will say Cleo ko malum hai. Okay, subject which is Cleo and then we use ko. Okay, and then subject needs something like you know, Carl needs time or your time. Carl ko time chahiye or Carl ko apka time chahiye. Okay, 
and subject is feeling something okay there that's also where we'll use co so this is i'm not going to do too much of detail i definitely want you to to you know in case if you missed previous class and if any of these are you know new to you i definitely recommend you watch um previous week's class okay um today we'll be covering these use cases where the subject is feeling physical sensations like they're hungry or thirsty okay subject you know they know some skill like such as like they know cooking swimming um you know um fast running or jumping okay subject is experiencing some physical state like they are angry or anger is coming to them or they are feeling sleepy okay um subject thinks that something will happen okay that's also where you can use go okay um and also for example sub subject is doing something and it takes them x amount of time to perform it okay um these are just some examples that i wrote down but at the end of the day as you go through the use cases you will know you know what each of these means okay uh, so with that in mind let's you know get started i'm going to stop sharing and we'll do our whiteboarding session uh, as we do the classes are always sort of interactive so anytime you have questions you feel free to 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 let me know and then we'll go over that okay so with that in mind let's get started um as i said when we talk about pronoun let's say you have me it's i in english right so you have me okay uh that's your simple pronoun and then you want to say mine okay that's your mera meri or mere something is mine like my or my basically right so my my father my brother my my house but there's a notion of to me something to me and that's where when you have man you end up having go to that okay and it becomes mujhe or mujhko okay to me okay um both of them are equally used you can use either of them that's totally okay now what we'll do is we'll continue the use cases from the previous class and uh, i didn't dig deeper into it but in the previous class we started talking about the verb the use cases where we use the verb called ana okay where well, i'm going to just call it case 4 5 actually where we want to use verb ana okay ana so ana in general it means to come right like for example main ghar aata hu i come to or arrive i come to the house okay but in this case ana when you're using it it's used in a sense of the subject subject has acquired a skill subject has acquired a skill or subject has knowledge of a particular skill knowledge of a skill okay such as like you know subject knows cooking or swimming or let's say subject knows a language let's say hindi okay how do you say that okay how do you say that it's different than subject knows a person okay i can say in english i know jackie versus i know english in english you in both the cases you are using the same verb no but in hindi it's different okay if i want to say i know jackie um i will use a different word okay if i want to say i know a particular skill i have a knowledge of i will use a different word so that's you know you have to pay slight attention to that otherwise it will confuse you because in english <laughs> you are using no for both cases right so jackie ji how will you let's say i have not done it but let's say you have to use the word ana how will you say i know cooking uh mujhe cooking aati hai very good right so mujhe cooking aati 
n okay so the the pattern here is subject subject and then with co and then the thing that we are talking about and then ata or ati hai okay which what really means is like you know to subject this particular skill is known that's how it's literally translating okay so Ashuji, so uh, yeah. instead of saying cooking would it be um well, i don't know what cooking is um would it be like an oblique version of yeah so what you will say if you want to say it in hindi you will say khana Oh, kind of. Khana pakana, khana banana, you can use either ways. Okay, so you can use infinity form, not the oblique case, but the infinity oh. form of it. So, khana banana aata hai. Jackie ko khana banana aata hai. Mujhe khana banana aati hai. A, a, okay, so it's interesting because, like, when you say cooking. Oh, yeah, it's masculine. So, it's feminine, right? So it's oh. when it is feminine, you use ati hai. When it is masculine, it's so, mujhe khana banana aata hai. Beautiful. Mujhe khana banana aata hai. Thank you. Yeah. Let's do some more because you know I want to make sure everyone is following along. So we said subject ko skill particular skill aati hai or aata hai. So you can say I use mujhe. Instead of that, you can say Aapko swimming, Aapko swimming aati hai. Okay, Aapko swimming aati hai. Okay, um, Austin Ji, let's say if I want to ask you now, right now it's a simple question where we are focusing on the post position ko. And we also emphasize that we're using the word ana. Let's say I want to know, I want to find out when I'm talking to you, do you know swimming? How do I ask you this question? Yeah, aapko swimming aati hai. Beautiful, right? So it's simple. All you're doing is changing into a question. Kya aapko swimming aati hai? Okay, now you can respond to it. How will you say that? Ah, uh, mujko swimming aati hai. Beautiful. Haan, mujhe swimming aati hai. Aur haan, mujhe, mujhko swimming aati hai. Okay. Um, so, Asuchi. Yes. Does that mean then that all of these infin all these infinitives have a gender? Yes. So, because it's, so it's, the, the infinitive are, in that case, you are not using it as a, you know, verb. You're using it as a, a verbal noun. Like, mm -hmm. khana banana. Right? I mean, so, Khana banana, because the word here is aata hai, aati hai, in that case. And the other one is almost like a verbal noun. That's why you are, you know, thinking it as like a, you know, there's a gender or not. Like, for example, swimming is good. Swimming in that case is not really a, a word. It's like a, um, you know, you, like a, it's noun derived from the verb. Yeah. How would you say that swimming is good? What do you think? Terna uh, acha hai? Yeah, terna acha hai. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, smoking is bad. Yeah, the, I think we covered it. Smoking is injurious to health. You know, it yeah. may throw you off, like, you know, it's why is it, it's ING form of the verb. So is it like present continuous? No, it is not. It is like, a, uh, you know, yes, Nandreji, you are you're sharing something? Sorry, why is it uh, swimming aati hai and swimming acha hai? Uh, okay, what do you think? I was going to ask that. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, what do you think? Camille, I can't um, speak with that noise in the background, baby. Take that upstairs. <laughs> well, go take it upstairs and have mom open it. Okay, That's Rita. Rita. Sorry. No worries. Hi, Rita. Cool. <laughs> yeah so one minute possible with the six-year-old granddaughter sorry no problem no problem okay so the question is um the question is mujhe 
स्विमिंग आती है वर्सेस सो स्विमिंग आती है वर्सेस तैरना सो आई थिंक इट मे बी द हिंदी वर्सेस इंग्लिश तैरना सॉरी सॉरी तैरना देयर इज यूज्ड टू सर यस टू स्विम इज गुड इट्स नॉट स्विमिंग इज गुड टू स्विम इज गुड सॉरी आई गॉट इट नाउ यस यस इट्स यूज्ड एज एज रियली लाइक अ वर्ब इज इन दिस देयर व्हिच वन ऑन द टॉप the second one to swim is good that's how i so it is to swim is good uh, so i i i don't think it's it's a uh, you know um it's really used as like you know um for example you have smoking is injurious it's not really you know um okay you know it's you, you can when you're translating it you can definitely say to smoke or to swim is you know oh is it as you do that swimming because it's a english word you know using aati why is saying aati there for me yes. swimming aati hai hmm. that's what i didn't understand like why is it aati as opposed to aata so then aata hai right okay nandini ji is that you or somebody else yes yes okay. oh, and also Okay. Who would like to take a pass at it? Like, why swimming is considered ati and not ata? Who would like to share their thoughts before Delia? Um, I I have no idea. I just know that uh, if you use a verbal noun, then it always um remains. Uh, I mean, in Hindi, if you in Hindi use a verbal noun, then it always remains in the masculine singular form. Yeah. but it seems here that if you use an english verb sorry verb verb english verb then it becomes um often feminine feminine yeah so swimming in becomes feminine but the question is on the other side oh oh i right? get it so you say mujhe tairna aati aata hai, hai. Aata hai. and mujhe swimming aati hai okay yeah. it is because it's english and i yes. thought english would be just generally masculine but I get it now. Thank you. Yes. Thank oh. you, Delia Ji. Thank you, Rashid. Oh. Yeah. So if it, you're using "tair na," you always "aata hai." Mujhe tair na aata hai. Mujhe naach na aata hai. Okay. Um. Mujhe gana aata hai. Okay. So all of those you're using is basically you know "aata hai." Okay. But swimming is somehow considered feminine. That's why like mujhe swimming aati hai. Uh, मुझे स्टिचिंग आती है uh, मुझे या मुझे सिंगिंग आती है मुझे स्विमिंग आती है एनी वन एल्स वुड लाइक टू हैव लाइक यू नो अदर वेज ऑफ लुकिंग एट इट ओके सो दैट्स अ जनरल रूल व्हेन यू यूजिंग द इनफिनिटिव इट्स द फॉल्स टू मैस्कुलिन तैरना आता नाचना आता दैट इज करेक्ट या So, are there any infinitives that are feminine in Hindi? Because uh, it's a lot easier to do it that way than try to memorize the gender of all the infinitives. Yeah. So, I I don't want to give it a rule to be honest with you because you know um, there's I'm sure there'll be some exceptions and there'll be cases where like you know. Um, But generally. Uh, so sorry, Ashutosh ji. Yeah, we had it in a class before. So uh, and the um, Sunil Bhat said that uh, if you use a verb as a verbal noun, it always uh, stays in the uh, masculine <laughs> singular okay. form. Yes. Okay. 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 So you know, in so that case, I think case... it's just with the English verbs, right? That they change to feminine. Feminine. Yes. Let's see, Anita ji, you are raising your hand. You want to share something? Well, just what I have learned or observed is that um, Hindi. Um, gives random uh, genders to english words or even verbal nouns right so i think it's quite random there is in hindi um yes if you use an infinitive it's always masculine however if we attach a noun to the infinitive if i say i know how to drive a car then it reverts back to the feminine because car is feminine yeah so mujhe driving aati hai no but uh, gaadi chalani aati hai no yes yes ओके सो इफ यू से गाड़ी चलाना आता है और यू कैन से ओके आई सी या फिनिश योर थॉट लाइक सो व्हाट यू सेइंग मुझे ड्राइविंग आती है वर्सेस गाड़ी चलानी आती है राइट या या 
Maybe I'm wrong with the car chalani aati hai. Maybe it is. Oh, no, so, so you will say both. Mujhe gaadi chalana aata hai, gaadi chalani aati hai. It's something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I think you know you can use it as a rule for the all the the verbal nouns which are infinitive. Like it's all always like you know masculine if they're used in 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 Hindi uh, for the most part. There may be here and there exception, but generally I think it's fair to say that all of them are are masculine. Okay. So back to it, you still have case number five, you know, aapko terna aata hai, okay, aur aapko gana aata hai, aur kya aapko gana aata hai, okay, very, very good question and discussion. Anyone else would like to have any more discussion here before we move on? Yeah, All right. So the next one is, it's also, so right now we spoke about, you know, subject knowing a particular skill okay what about you know um situation where you know we are talking about emotional or physical states so emotional or physical state of a subject such as like the anger is coming to the subject okay um which is essentially saying subject is angry, okay? Um, one is you would say John is angry. John gussa hai. That's a simple way of saying it. But Hindi somehow makes it a little bit slightly, you know, uh, difficult. Like to John, anger is coming. Okay, that's how it, it will tell, okay? Um, and then it becomes subject plus ko, that physical state, aata hai or a raha hai, based on what you want to say. Okay, so what you will end up saying is, KCIG, you want to give it a try, you want to say that anger is coming to John. And we know that you have to use the verb ana. Okay. Um, John ko. Mm -hmm. John ko. Gussa aata hai. Very good. John ko gussa aata hai. It essentially means the same thing. John is angry versus John ko gussa aata hai. Anger comes to John. Okay. Often. John ko kabhi kabhi gussa aata hai. Okay. John gets angry sometimes. John ko hamesha gussa aata hai. He is, he always angry comes to him. Okay. Or let's say, a kid who is scared, scared of his parent, like, you know, and he'll say, papa ko, papa ko gussa a raha hai. He is getting angry. Okay. Papa ko gussa a raha hai. Right. Um, hopefully it makes sense. Just like that, you have gussa. You know, let's say you want to use it. Typically, we use the verb to sleep is sona. Okay. As a noun, sleep is neem. But you can use neemed with ana, which is basically neemed ana. Okay. So, let's say you want to say, you know, John is getting sleepy. Okay. Uh, Donna ji, how would you say that? Subject ko. Okay. Who is getting sleepy? John. John. John, John. <laughs> okay. John ko uh, neend. Is it feminine? Ati? Okay. Yes, that's good. Neend. Yes. Ah. Oh, ah. Ra rahi hai. John ko neend ra rahi hai. Okay, John ko neend a rahi hai. So just like you have gussa a raha hai, you have John ko neend a rahi hai. Okay, or if it, you know, you want to say something in general, like whenever John reads, you know, he gets sleepy, right? How would you say that, Donna ji? Uh, jab, uh, oh, jab yeah. John, uh, uh, parta. Hey, uh, mm -hmm. 
अरे बोल रहा है जब 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 नॉन जब जॉन किताब पढ़ता है तब उसको नींद आती है ओके और और यू कैन से जब मैं मूवी देखती हूँ मुझे नींद आती है ओके और जब मैं न्यूज़पेपर पढ़ती हूँ तब मुझे नींद आती है ओके एनी वन वुड लाइक टू ट्राई यूज ऑफ आना वेदर इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ नोइंग अ स्किल और सब्जेक्ट एक्सपीरियंसिंग अ फिजिकल और इमोशनल यू नो बाई द वे आई वॉन्ट टू गिव अपॉर्चुन एवरी वन कैन पार्टिसिपेट इन द चैट so if anything comes to your mind whether you know a skill or you know a person if they know a skill um you know you can use a uh, chat to to share your examples and i'm going to read some of the good ones okay so i'm going to give you some time the ask is really give some examples for case number 5 and then right after that we'll move to the next one Okay. Yes, Linda. Uh, just a question. Uh, so, so if I want to say, uh, did I understand it right that this means especially that somebody is getting angry? If I just want to say that John is angry, can I just yeah. say John go go sa hai without the upper? So you know, if John is angry, you want to say John is angry, right? Yeah. So then you say John go sa hai. Ah, uh, so I don't use the co at all. Yeah. yeah but because it's something that comes to them you want to say as a habit or right now it is coming to them if you are using it as a habit you will say john ko gussa aata hai okay if it is coming right now at this moment john ko gussa aa raha hai does it make sense or still no not clear uh, yeah 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 i was just thinking that they didn't we use some other other verbs with like feelings where we would just use the the feeling word and then just he like muchko tired how would i say i am tired yeah mad so you know different ways of saying it right one is i am tired like mai mai tired hu okay or mai thaka hua hu or mai thaki hui hu okay second one is tiredness is coming to me that state of tiredness is coming to me in that case something is coming to you okay so then you will ask mujhe thakan hai okay yeah the, so we are not using aata aata in that case so um okay let me write it down okay just a quick tangent and then we'll go back to you know um so i would not basically make a, a so you know one is i am tired and let's say if you want to use the mai hu pattern you don't want to know too much you can just simply say mai tired hu you may be wondering why am i using english word okay you want to use hindi you can say mai thaka hua hu okay now you want to say i want to use ko okay so this is your one number 2 is where you are saying the state of tiredness is coming to me then you use ko mujhe thakan hai mujhe thakan hai okay um you know um you are saying why am i not using aata aati okay uh you can say you know mujhe whenever you in that case you know you want to say whenever i do something like this mujhe whenever i run too much मुझे थकान आती है ओके आई डोंट नो इफ इट हेल्प्स एट ऑल लिंडा जी बट दिस इज हाउ यू विल बेसिकली डिस्क्राइब ऑल द केसेस नाउ आस्क मी व्हिच वन इज इज ट्रिकी व्हिच वन सेकंड वन फर्स्ट वन और द थर्ड वन uh none of them i guess i was just uh, i just thought that the case that you were presenting now meant especially yes. that that somebody is getting angry so i was thinking yes. well if i just leave the ata from there then i could just yes. say john ko gussa hai and it would mean yes. john is angry that's the so, john gussa hai john ko gussa aata hai both of them are correct basically and then as you said like you know you can translate it to other situations also tiredness you can use that Okay. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, of course. Let's see uh, what 
ओके सु को वायलिन बजाना आता है आ, मुझे थोड़ी नी हिंदी आती है वेरी गुड मुझे थोड़ी हिंदी आती है आ, मुझे अनुवाद करना आता है विच इज आई नो हाउ टू ट्रांसलेट ओके अमेजिंग ओके जब मैं टीवी देखती हूँ मुझे नींद आती है ओके वेरी गुड ऑसम एंड देन जब मैं ओके जब मैं बहुत जब मैं बहुत गर्मी में हूँ तब मुझे नींद आती है ओके वेरी गुड ऑसम ऑसम सो दिस इज बेसिकली यूज ऑफ द वर्ब आना इन बोथ द केसेस व्हेन अ सब्जेक्ट नो द स्किल एंड और द सब्जेक्ट इज All these physical or emotional conditions are coming to to the subject. Whether it is anger, happiness, um, you know, um, or or tiredness, right? All these states. Okay. The next one, subject case number six, is a little bit longer. It's slightly harder also. So bear with me as I try to kind of go over it. And um, case number six. is where you use the verb lagna okay and lagna it's very important verb as you all know it means like in in this case there will be four different like use cases of lagna itself okay um when we study the verb lagna we we go through it but in this case your main focus is is the ko the post position ko but when you use the verb lagna subject and there is a use of verb lagna for the form of it subject is always marked with ko okay so imagine like subject ko lagta hai subject ko lagta hai okay now how it is being used it changes the meaning of lagna okay so if you are using ए विच इज सब्जेक्ट को लगता है और जॉन को लगता है कैली को लगता है डोना को लगता है इट मीन्स टू टू डोना यू नो इट अपियर्स सो दिस इज टू अपियर टू अपियर टू सीम और टू थिंक ओके टिपिकली यू नो वी एंडर सेइंग लाइक यू नो डोना सोचती है और कैली सोचती है और मैं सोचता हूं ओके बट विच इज करेक्ट टू थिंक बट कोलो केली इन अ डे टू डे कॉन्वर्सेशन यू एंड अप यूजिंग लगना एंड यू एंड अप यूजिंग वेन यू यूजिंग लगना यू एंड अप यूजिंग द पोस्ट पोजिशन को विद अ सब्जेक्ट एंड देन यू एंड अप सेंग डोना को लगता है डोना को लगता है कि आज बारिश होगी डोना थिंक्स दैट विल रेन टुडे और आई कैन से मुझे लगता है इंग्लैंड um, uh, ये मैच जीतेगी ओके यू नो यू कैन से मैं सोचता हूं बट ऑन अ डे टू डे कॉन्वर्सेशन यू नो यू सोचना कम्स ऑफ लिल बिट लाइक वीयर हिंदी स्पीकर्स विल एंड अप यूजिंग लगता है मुझे लगता है ओके okay? मुझे लगता है आपको लगता है आपको क्या लगता है ओके सो इमेजिन इफ आई वर टू आस्क अ क्वेश्चन राइट ओके शीला जी आपको क्या लगता है ओके फुटबॉल वर्ल्ड कप वर्ल्ड कप कौन जीतेगा मेक इट अप मेक इट अप एनी थिंग आपको आपको क्या लगता है फुटबॉल का वर्ल्ड कप कौन जीतेगा Um, मुझको फुटबॉल वर्ल्ड कप लगता है मुझको लगता है यस सो यू कैन से मुझे और मुझे लगता है एंड द क्वेश्चन एंड द आंसर कि द क्वेश्चन वॉज फुटबॉल वर्ल्ड कप फुटबॉल का वर्ल्ड कप कौन जीतेगा ओ जीतेगा सॉरी आई डिट हेयर द लास्ट बट मुझे लगता है कि Scotland World Cup uh jeeta hai which which team just take ah, any Scotland name. Scotland Scotland okay very good mujhe lagta hai ki Scotland very unlikely <laughs> yeah <I'm... laughs> there you go right so so when you are using lagna hai in this context it means to think to seem to appear okay uh that's what it means 
okay and there are we'll go over many cases but just write it down you know and you can practice it also like mujhe lagta hai or you know um uh, aapko lagta hai i'm going to write down some can you use sochna though for to think you can say that you okay. can say that. yeah main sochti hu aur aap kya sochte hain you can so- say that totally so but donna will... if donna thinks it might rain she, you could say donna cole Sochta Heiki or yeah. or if she feels it might rain, you would say Donna Cole Lakta Heiki. Yeah. So you Ash can say either way. Or okay. That is correct. Right? I'm gonna write down some more examples. <clears throat> you know. So let's say <clears throat> mere, mere pita ko lagta hai. This is just to get you guys thinking that it's not just mujhe lagta hai. You can also use my father is mera pita with ko mere pita mere pita ko lagta hai ki ki meri sister aur meri behan acha gaati hai now in english when you translate it when you translate it it's really like my my dad thinks that my my sister she sings well okay that's what it it is but and when you're really translating it from there to hindi you will say mere pita sochte hain ki meri 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 behan acha gaati hai but on a day to day level hindi speakers will use lagna both of them are correct by the way as i mentioned to rita ji also both of them are correct but on a day to day you will hear this you know the use of lagna pretty commonly okay um any any questions on this one i'm going to write down uh, i think there is one uh, somebody wrote this question linda ji we will do it okay linda ji you send it to me this one on on whatsapp maybe uh, yeah, yeah. sorry i didn't want to bother you anymore i just thought no, maybe some, somebody knew how to answer <laughs> so that's why I put it. so here is it we should save it we should save this question post it on whatsapp or discord okay, so okay. Yeah. thank you thank you yeah i just don't want to miss it out otherwise like you know <laughs> uh, okay so i'm going to write down some more examples Ashwini, uh, is it yes. always lagta hai? It's, it's never lagti or lagte hai. Um, the question is, is it always lagta hai? Yeah. That is correct. That is correct. You can change it to past tense though. But yeah, it's always, you know, um, it's always lagta hai. For example, mere pita ko, yes, that is correct. If that is the question, that is correct. Okay, no, but it can also be used in the past tense, which I am going to give you examples of. Thank you. Okay, so let's say, मुझे लगता है, so मेरे पिता को लगता है, is correct. मुझे लगता है कि मुझे लगता है कि ये यह record, let's say a team scored a particular they won some game or something you want to say i think it's very hard to break this record this is a very good thing so mujhe lagta hai ki ye record break karna break karna mushkil hai mujhe lagta hai ki ye record break karna mushkil hai okay um now more examples of using it in the so in this case so far you know you you are saying I feel or I it to me it seems or to me it appears okay now let's say it you know you want to use it in the past okay um you can say mujhe mujhe laga aap um mujhe laga aap nahi aa rahe hain mujhe laga aap nahi aa rahe hain i thought you are not coming okay or i thought you were not planning to come okay in english you are saying i thought okay and in hindi it's laga okay you can again say that maine socha aap nahi aa rahe hain that's correct too okay think of it as another use case um in which you are you know using the form of lagna when you're using sochna you know it's a transitive verb that's why you like maine socha versus mujhe laga okay if you, if it is hard just think of it as like you know when you are using lagna 
and when it's a subject that's marked with co it's by rule it's by design so hopefully that should help you so even if you don't want to use it yourself when you're listening to it it should make sense to you yeah um mujhe laga james naraaj hai mujhe laga james james naraaj hai what does it mean मुझे लगा जेम्स नाराज है अनीता जी इट सेम टू मी दैट जेम्स वाज एंग्री या अपसेट और एंग्री या आई थॉट जेम्स इज अपसेट या एनी क्वेश्चंस और ऑन दिस वन इट्स ओके इफ इट इज हार्ड यू डू शेयर इट एज वेल स्किल बट यूर से गुस्सा आता है एज वेल सो So even so, emotions so, can come to you. Is that right? That is two different use so cases. So it's skills, skills as well as emotions. That is correct. That is correct. Is that Both, right? Thank you. Thank you. Daniwal. Yeah. Two different use cases. Daniwal. So yeah. Okay. Um, how are we doing with time? So we have decent time. Okay. The next one is so remember that मुझे लगा और मुझे लगता है. Okay. in this case it means to seem to appear or to think um now the next one b in this case is um where to take okay to take or to require when you are doing a particular task or something like that okay and it takes a subject x number of time x amount of time or x number of rupees okay so let's say you want to say it took me it took me 5 hours to get here okay so you have a sentence like this it's a long sentence but it took subject certain amount of time or money to do a task whenever you have a pattern like this you know you have a subject which is marked by co doing a activity and then you have a form of lagna okay so let's say we are picking on john this entire class so it would be john co john co 5 ghante or hours because we are saying past लगे जॉन को पांच घंटे लगे इट टू जॉन फाइव आवर्स ओके जॉन को पांच घंटे लगे इट टू जॉन फाइव आवर्स समबडी कैन आस्क यू फॉर व्हाट ओके फॉर व्हाट यू कैन से जॉन को लेट्स से यू वांट टू यूज समथिंग हियर टू टू अचीव व्हाट You can say John को घर आने में, okay? घर आना to come home, okay? Infinitive form of the verb convert into the oblique case with में. John को घर आने में, John को हिंदी सीखने में, John को हिंदी सीखने में छ महीने लगे ओके जॉन को हिंदी सीखने में छ महीने लगे जॉन को कॉफी बनाने में दस मिनट लगे जॉन को कॉफी बनाने में दस मिनट लगे और जॉन को घर साफ करने में पूरा दिन लगा एक दिन लगा 
okay um, I know I wrote down a bunch of examples but in summary in all of these cases you know you will notice the verb lagna in all these cases again your subject is followed by ko if you are a beginner you're finding it hard just notice that you know whenever you have a pattern like this where it takes subject some amount of time or money to do something you know you will use the verb lagna okay um, there are many things in it here in this like in in these sentences like so if you're a completely beginner you know you hang in there okay for intermediate plus i think you should be able to break it down like john ko laga that was the first case john ko laga john it appeared to john but you change it to john ko panch ghante lage from there you change it to john ko coffee banane mein 10 minute lage okay but lekin john ko ghar saaf karne mein pura din lag gaya yeah any questions on this one uh ji uh, uh palan here uh -huh. um can we say both uh, 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 like this john ko 5 ghante lage ghar aane mein this is yes. one and yes. john ko ghar aane mein um john ko 5 ghante lage ghar aane mein so you're both saying are both you should put it here versus here yeah yeah it's correct, correct. both of them. both of them okay right. okay yeah. thank you yeah. you guys want to use some more examples like just like this you can keep it same john ko laga aur lage but you can this part you can all if you guys can write down some examples of this uh, in the zoom chat it will be great so just you can keep this part fixed you can just play around with this what will you write Delia, what will you write? Um, uh, I could write. Um, मुझे हिंदी सीखने में अब तक एक साल से ज़्यादा लगे लगा लगा. लगा. Yeah. Awesome. Um, Maha, what will you write? Um, John को पाँच घंटे लगे पहुँचने के लिए. Hmm, I'm gonna give it a go. <laughs> so, uh, John ko um, ek kitab paanch ghante uh, lage hai. Very good, right? So, he took you five said, hours to read a book. Okay, so what is to read? Uh, par, so it will be parti. Parna. Par, ah, Parna. Par so now say it again. John ko. John ko a kitab paanch ghante pad. Yeah, a kitab. Uh, padne. Yeah, awesome. Padne. Okay. Yeah, padne. Me. Very good. John ko a kitab padne me. Lage. Five ghante lage. Very good. Very good. Sorry, Very my good. camera is um, my internet is uh, really bad, so I didn't want to put my camera on. So. Sorry about that. No, it's okay. It's okay. All good. No, not at all. It's all good. Okay, Mitaji, you want to write out, and then we'll go to the next speaker. Um, Billy ko do minutes dud pine lage. Yeah, very good. Billy ko dud pine me do minute lage. Okay. You love cats, right, Mitaji? Examples <laughs> are always cats. I love it. Okay, All right. So this is your within lagna. You have uh, Ashuji. Excuse me. Yes. I have a question. If it's yes. in the if it's in the plural, huh? if you said instead of John Ko, I don't know, um, Unhe, 
Prefix Bay or will it still be uh, the same Lage? So it's question is when do you use Laga versus Lage? If it is a ganta, it's it's you know lesser time, right? So it's Laga, okay? You know versus five din Lage. So it's really what is the the, the thing? Chai ganta Lage. A ganta. Oh, got it. Okay. Right. Got it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay. Awesome. There are two more use cases. Uh, I'll try not to rush, but uh, you know, I want to finish at least this Lagna piece though, so that way, you know, it's everything is in one lecture for Lagna. Um, so number three for Lagna is so we've done. You know, मुझे लगता है मुझे लगता है आज बारिश होएगी. Okay, that was number one. मुझे Lecture Prane me eganda lagega. That was your number two. Now number three is you know or number C for Lagna is um physical sensation, physical or emotional sensation. Okay. Um, um which is basically you know we have done it before, but because we are going over it with with so in that case you will say subject ko subject ko that this particular state uh lag raha or rahi hai okay in that case you can say subject ko bhook lag rahi hai okay subject ko bhook lag rahi hai or john ko John ko bhook lag rahi hai. John is hungry. Okay. Um, in, 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 it is really, it means, you know, basically physical sensation. Um, or if you were to translate it literally, you will say hunger. Hunger is attached to the subject. John ko bhook lag rahi hai. Okay. John ko Thund lag rahi hai. Thund is cold. 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 Cold is attached to John. Okay. John ko bhoog lag rahi hai. John ko thund lag rahi hai. John ko what else can you say here? John ko garmi lag rahi hai. Garmi is hot or heat. Okay. <coughs> To feel, John is feeling hot or John is feeling the heat. Okay. John ko pyas lag rahi hai. Thirst. John ko pyas lag rahi hai. Okay. Um, John ko, next one is dar. Fear. John ko dar lag raha hai. Now, you may be trying to make sense of what is here. All these physical or emotional states are attached to the subject. Okay, that's why you are using lagna. Okay, now if it is hard, think about it again. It's different use cases of lagna. Lagna along with ko. Okay, so. John ko bhook lag rahi hai. John ko pyas lag rahi hai. John ko thand lag rahi hai. Garmi lag rahi hai. Dard lag raha hai. Right? All of those are again one more use case of lagna. Okay. Um, now, it may be hard because in English you are describing in different ways. But in Hindi, you are still using lagna. Okay. But it means different things. Question on this one, on number three. Who's finding it hard, be honest. <laughs> yes, Jackie ji. Hard? Yeah, very hard. Yes, very hard. Word by word. But then if you ask me to say something, I, it would just, 
you're but saying like if I, you, if I ask you a sentence now, it'll be hard for you to to use it. Okay. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, I, that's a fair. That's a fair summary, right? I mean, it's like, how do I now, like, you know, this one thing is like it's making sense to you. The second one is now, can I start using it? Use it. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So let's uh, say. Actually, uh, I ha I'm wondering if this case is the how I'm looking. Case la grahi. This is the case you are looking uh, Good. nice. This one uh, is the case. No, no? This, is, this is a different case. It's a different okay. case. Uh, okay. you know? Yeah. I'm just trying to think like what Jackie G said, like how do I sort of like now use it? Um, um, anyone has any thoughts on it? Like how do I use it? One is like you understand it, like, but anyone advanced student? Yeah, go ahead. I think the more he, we hear it, it becomes easier. Yeah, yeah. I give you more example, but at least, you know, as you make notes, write down at least one example of each yeah. so that at least it'll get like you know your in your the wrong now right here is based on so like pierce or book is feminine so pierce is masculine so it would be john codard la rahe okay that, that's correct. okay john, yeah. okay yeah awesome so write it down at least one example of each as you make notes so that way at least you will remember it um we're short on time but at least i want to use one more use case which is d or lagna and at least we can finish the 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 lagna and at least in this class we done ana two use cases of ana and four use cases of lagna right so now the next one is uh, so you know we did to like and dislike in the previous class we did you know jo subject ko pasand hai aur subject ko pasand nahi hai if you guys remember that, right? Uh, swimming pasand hai, mujhe running pasand hai, mujhe teaching pasand hai, right? Again, I'm using ko and I'm using pasand. Mm -hmm. um, generically, you can also use acha lagna. So acha is used with lagna. Okay? Um, to feel good. To feel good. Or you can say bura lagna okay um again using lagna to feel sympathetic for someone to feel sympathy to feel sympathy for someone okay okay to to feel good to seem good you know all, all those cases okay so let's say you want to say one is mujhe one is you can say mujhe kaam karna pasand hai that was the previous class okay again you're using ko with pasand you can also say mujhe kaam karna achha lagta hai mujhe kaam karna achha lagta hai okay mujhe Chai pina acha lagta hai. Okay. Mujhe Hindi sikna or language sikna acha lagta hai. Okay. Um, mujhe khana banana acha lagta hai. Okay. Mujhe gana gana acha lagta hai. Okay. All of those cases, you know, when you want to share your likes and dislikes, what seem good to you. Okay. You can use, you know, uh, lagna. Okay. Uh, you can also say, "Mujhe acha laga." Yeah. Mujhe. One more time. Okay. Mujhe acha laga. Past tense. Mujhe acha laga. I felt good. Ki aap. Mujhe acha laga ki aap. Ghar pe. Uh, aap. One minute. Make. Mujhe acha laga. कि आप uh, लंच 
आप लंच पे मिले ओके आई आई फेल गुड दैट यू मेट ऑन लंच ओके मुझे अच्छा लगा कि आप लंच पे मिले ओके अगेन फोकस इज हियर बट यू कैन यूज कंजंक्शन एंड राइट डाउन वन मोर सेंटेंस ओके यू कैन ऑल्सो से दैट यू हैव वेरी गुड फ्रेंड्स एंड यू वॉन्ट देम टू कम ओवर ओके यू कैन यूज फ्यूचर टेंस मुझे अच्छा और हमें अच्छा लगेगा इट्स यू आर वेरी गुड फैमिली फ्रेंड्स ओके यू वॉन्ट टू से दैट वी विल फील वेरी गुड इफ यू कम ओवर फॉर 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 टू आर प्लेस हमें और हमको अच्छा लगेगा कि आप हमारे घर आए ओके okay? हमें अच्छा लगेगा कि आप हमारे घर आए ओके सो दिस इज अच्छा लगना ओके आई डू वॉन्ट टू गिव यू होम वर्क आई डेंट गेट चांस टू क्विज यू गाइज ऑन दिस वन बट फॉर ऑल द फोर केसेज एटलीस्ट यू शुड राइट डाउन टू एग्जाम्पल्स फॉर इच केस इवन इफ इट मीन्स इट्स द सेम एग्जाम्पल दैट यूर यूजिंग इन द क्लास सो बी इट एटलीस्ट राइट डाउन टू एग्जाम्पल्स एंड यू कैन पोस्ट इट ऑन 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 व्हाट्सएप और Discord actually, so that grades there. Okay, I want to write down one of this. Bura lagna. Okay, so let's say you felt bad for something. You will say, "Mujhe bura laga." Mujhe bura laga ki, and then what you felt bad about? Mujhe bura laga that you know you couldn't you couldn't win the prize. Okay. मुझे बुरा लगा कि यू नो यू मुझे बुरा लगा दैट यू नो द टीचर वॉज मैड एट यू बिकॉज यूर फीलिंग सेम्पति फॉर द पर्सन ओके मुझे बुरा लगा दैट मुझे बुरा लगा दैट टीचर वॉज वॉज नॉट हैप्पी यू नो विथ योर वर्क ओके सो वेन यूर फीलिंग सेम्पथेटिक फॉर सम वन यू कैन से बुरा लगना दे any questions i know this one i kind of rushed through this one the case number 4 acha lagna bura lagna but anyway um we are slightly over time um um so i'm going to stop the broadcast and i'll take questions so for folks who watch uh, live on facebook thank you so much um stay connected with the hindi university and um, do visit the page hindiuniversity.org and 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 join us so i'm going to stop the broadcast